Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dan. And today's video might be a bit longer than normal because I've got a lot to sort of get through. There's been loads and loads of stuff revealed, leaked, some of it only in the last 24 hours, some of it as late as late last week. And there's just so much to talk about and unpack and go on about. One of the things might get me in trouble. The reason it might get me in trouble is because this video almost is in three unique sections. I want to call it the good, the bad and the ugly, but I'm not going to be that harsh. It's more like the wicked awesome, the okay, it's all right, yeah, I quite like that, and the mm, not so sure. So let's just do this. So we start with The Wicked Awesome, and only last night, in the middle of the night, while all us Brits were tucked up in bed, you guys in the US got to see your first proper sneak peek views of what Spirit Halloween are bringing out for the 2023 season in the form of like a promotional quick video. I've seen about three seconds of this before I stopped it and was like, no, I'm going to react to this because, yeah. But I get the feeling there's going to be quite a lot to unpack. So let's just do this really quick. So the trailer is simply titled Meet the Residents of Spirit Hallows Cemetery because we've known for some time now that the theming for Spirit Halloween this year is clearly going to be a cemetery theme. So let's just have a look. Whoa. Wow, creepy clowns, lots of creepy clowns. Oh. Leatherface, of course. Oh, that was pretty good. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Whoa. Okay. Crypt Keeper, nice. Wow, oh, cool. Whoa. We can play hide and What the hell is that? <laughs> and a flipping clown. Whoa. Okay. So just as I thought, there's a whole bunch of stuff to unpack there. The lineup looks awesome. It was very, very quick, very rapid succession. And there's a lot of these I don't know the names of. So if you do, comment in the comment section below if you actually know what these things are called. Because I'm from the UK and we don't have access to the Spirit Halloween website like you guys do. So, so I can't look any of this up. I don't even know whether any further information's out there. As far as I'm aware, it's just this teaser trailer. Let me know if I'm wrong. We start off with what looks like a Reaper about to punch a girl in the face. <laughs> I mean, okay, that looks fun. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. It looks like an awesome prop. I have no idea what his actual function is. It just kind of looks like he's about to punch a girl in the face. That's what it looks like. Then we jump into a whole bunch of clowns. You guys know how I feel about clowns. There's lots of them. And Spirit clearly isn't over the clown phase. As I take it, a lot of people aren't either. You've got a creepy clown holding a blue with a rather sad face. I have to say, I think probably the coolest of the bunch for some reason. Then you've got this really big, large clown with like crazy outfit holding what looks like a gift bag so i don't know what that's gonna do we've of course got leatherface which has been promised by spirit this year it's a really really cool version of leatherface i have to say like the made up makeup version of leatherface so that's kind of different from the two we've already seen sort of teased by party city and also the one we've seen coming from lowe's then we've got these two props that I found quite interesting. One is like a guy pulling a pumpkin off his head with a creepy sort of zombie face underneath it. And then there was a tombstone, pretty cool looking tombstone on its own right, but the, the head on the top spins. Uh, you just briefly saw it. In the middle of that as well, there was like a pumpkin that kind of split open, a bit like the Lowe's one I've already previously spoken about. But this one kind of looks cool. It looks more fleshy inside as it splits open. So that's kind of awesome. We've got a contentious one next which is the sitting scare prop scarecrow i can't actually remember the title of this guy he's been around for a few years but they've remodeled him this year he looks really cool but the contentious part is that perhaps maybe it's a 
bit of plagiarism here, a bit of copying, because it looks very, very similar to the one that Wicked Makers made last year, uh, where they kind of took this prop and, and made him up, and made him look a bit more terrifying. Wicked Makers have come out and said that they were, didn't have any sort of relationship with Spirit Halloween, and it perhaps was inspired by theirs, which they seem quite flattered by, but you know, it's still kind of a bit weird. I don't know how you look at that. There was a whole host of creepy doll inspired looking ones, one holding candles, one with kind of creepy claws. We saw the gargoyle in there, which we've already spoken about in a previous video, which is very cool. There was a weird kind of faceless creature, which was just a big mouth with smoke coming out of it. No idea what that was, but very, very creepy. The Crypt Keeper, which, Nothing more to say, it was the Crypt Keeper. Such a cool prop. I'd really be interested to see a bit more of what he does and says. We had another clown, this one holding knives, of course. A juggler clown whose head was sort of spinning 360 degrees, because that's obviously creepy. Probably the creepiest thing I saw in that whole quick succession of, of clips was this kind of doll-faced creature that has like a reaper's outfit but it's definitely a doll's face the mouth is broader than it should be and it was speaking with a full-on demon voice that's somewhat creepy yeah that that's nightmare fuel for certain and then the last thing we saw was a clown that didn't have a lower half of its body spinning around in a sort of 360 degree thing so yeah this was very clownified overall all those props look pretty awesome. We clearly haven't seen the full thing of what each individual thing does, so that'll be interesting to see. But it looks like a great lineup so far. It looks really, really cool. You guys are in for some fun times with those props, I have to say. There's probably two or three that stand out there. I'm definitely interested to see what that Reaper right at the start of the video does. He definitely looks like he's about to punch that girl in the face, but I don't know, maybe I've read that wrong. Yeah, overall, big thumbs up. Look at you guys getting Spirit Halloween. Because now the second part of my video is talking about UK stuff. And the difference is spectacular. Because you've got that wicked awesome lineup of things and that might just be the start. We haven't even seen everything yet. And then we've got some of the things that we're getting here in the UK. One of the things is, yeah, this is okay. And the thing I'm talking about was being brought to the UK by a UK online firm that I've talked about many times before called Mad About Horror. They released these videos late last week, early this week, I can't really remember. But either way, they are things that we've seen before. I've seen them in, in the US many times before. And the main one is called Jabbering Jack. Now Jabbering Jack is a pumpkin which has a projector built inside it and it projects the image of a jack-o'-lantern face onto the outside of the jack-o'-lantern. And it says a whole load of quirky, family-friendly things. It's got some fun phrases and some songs. It's very family-friendly, but also quite cool. They're not very expensive. I think they're retailing out about 65 pounds, which isn't too bad. And I've always been a fan of the Atmos FX one where you can line pumpkins up in a row and project this sort of pumpkin effect onto an actual pumpkin. So actually this kind of has takes away the whole having to have an external projector and all that sort of stuff away. And you still get a very similar effect. Some people would probably say not as good, but it's still similar. It's not a million miles off what this what those pumpkins do in the Atmos FX. And it saves a lot of time and a lot of money. So I kind of like him. Joining Jabbering Jack though is what is, I'm guessing made by the exact same company because it's the same kind of idea and I've not seen these before and they're pretty cool, is the Hauntley's Head animated prop and Eek the Cat animated prop. Now both are doing a very similar thing from what I can gather. The head is a head that has a small projector inside and it's projecting several different images. The head can either be set to what looks like a kind of a zombie or a witch. There's also like a vampire inspired one and it's saying very sort of friendly, slightly generic things from the very short clip we've got. Eek the Cat, similar, it's a cat. The eyes and the mouth move. It has a bit of animation in its face. It's saying feline-y, spooky, Halloween-y things. 
It's definitely on the family friendly end of the scale, but it's actually really cool. All three of these are actually quite cool props, not overly expensive, a nice little addition, especially for maybe a small party or for a smaller, more family friendly haunt. If I was gonna pick out of the three, I think I'd probably pick the original Jabbering Jack. I think it just says Halloween and it's kind of cool and kind of family friendly, and I like it. Then we move on to the part of the video that might get me in trouble because this is the part where I talk about a particular store and they represent a whole bunch of these sorts of stores that exist in the UK that do a range of Halloween stuff and they're actually not a bad range of Halloween stuff and they meet a particular price criteria. But every year I find them or some element of them a little bit disappointing because I just want more. I just want to see better stuff. So late last week, a store here in the UK called The Range released or leaked a few images onto its website of some of the props, newer props that are coming out for the 2023 season. And they are, mm. So I'll show you what I mean. We start with a devil prop, which is basically just a hanging prop. We get a lot of these in the UK. You hang them up. He's actually 183 centimeters, so he's a full six foot prop. Very basic. I have no idea what the animation is. It looks like his hands do some kind of a strobing effect or light up effect or something. I don't know why you'd want that, but it's it's new and it's slightly different. So that's the only reason I'm giving it any credence. And it is only $26.99, so we're not talking vast amounts of money here. Next, we have a very basic swinging girl prop, which I don't think the animation is her swinging. She'll just be saying some creepy lines and her eyes will light up slightly. She's not a bad looking prop. And again, she's not overly expensive, but I, I don't know. Then we've got a clown. Of course we've got a clown. The UK stores are still fully in love with the whole clown theme. That You see it a lot. And a lot of people like it. I'm just not one of them. But I have to say, this clown... We've seen this clown. I'm pretty sure we've seen this clown before. The face looks pretty much identical to one we've had at least for the last five years now. And again, it's on this more basic end of the spectrum. It's holding a tray for some reason. It just has these basic red glowing eyes. It possibly does some talking, but it's not really gonna be very impressive things it's gonna be saying. Yeah, it's just, I'm just like, what is this? I don't, I don't know what this is. Sorry, the range, but what is that? Then for £45, we've got this hanging witch. Now, I like a witch prop, but this is the most basic witch I've ever seen. She takes basic witch to the extreme. She doesn't even talk from what I can gather. I don't think she says anything. She just does that weird jiggling things that props back in the 90s did. Holding a sign that says Halloween fun this way. I don't know where you'd use this. I know there will be people in the UK that like this, and that's why I feel bad being so negative. It's just, we've seen this kind of stuff before. This is meant to be new, and we've seen this plenty of times before. The only one I'm somewhat impressed by and thinks actually a worthy prop, and I would potentially even think of buying it myself, is a standing scarecrow prop. Because number one, it stands. It's not actually just a hanging thing that you have to find something to hang it off. And it looks pretty cool. It's got a scary looking face. It's got these claw-like hands. It's okay. It looks all right. I don't understand why it's got a sign saying Happy Halloween. That kind of takes away from it for me. But I, I can appreciate it. It's okay. But this is kind of where I get myself in trouble with UK Haunters. Because I find this kind of stuff quite disappointing. Now, just let me clarify. This is pretty much the height of what we see in the UK when it comes to not online we can buy lots of different things online lots of cool things online but when it comes to stores you can actually physically go to and buy some stuff this is around about the best sort of stuff you find in the UK genuinely and has been for many years now and that in its own right is kind of disappointing for me I've been buying Halloween stuff for the better part of 25 years and although the Halloween sector in the UK has grown massively and there are so many more stores that keep a pretty good range of Halloween stuff. 
it just seems to have stagnated. We seem to have reached this point with some of the bigger stores like The Range, where they're kind of bringing the same stuff out again and again and again. They might rehash it a little tiny bit. They'll change a costume. They'll change some hair. They'll add a weird sign for no apparent reason. But it's basically the same stuff. And I find it quite disappointing. That isn't to say the stuff isn't good, and it's not to say that it doesn't have its place in the market. Not everyone has hundreds of pounds to spend on Halloween. Technically, neither do I. And for people who still want to celebrate Halloween, this stuff is perfectly fine. It's spooky, it's Halloween-y, if you've got somewhere to hang it, great. It's some of their groundbreakers, by the way, the range do. I bought one last year, the pumpkin-headed groundbreaker. Really cool prop, fit into my horn excellently. I was so, so happy with it as a prop. I just wish that one of these big stores like The Range would from time to time, you know, really experiment with the market, bring something a little bit more substantial. Every year we see these very basic Sunstar props, which they're, they're fine, they're okay, but they're just basic and cheap. And that you're lucky if they last more than two or three seasons. And I would love to see just something made by Techie or Jemmy or or SVI, I'd just love to see one of these stores keeping something a little bit more substantial, even if it was just one thing, a little bit more special, a little bit better, a bit more professional. Instead of every single year you go to these stores, whether it's B&M, The Range, TK Maxx, even the big ones like Asda and stuff, and you just see the same things again and again and again, just ever so slightly tweaked but it's just the same pretty cheap stuff, to be honest. I just want the UK to start taking it more seriously and especially not so much the online stores, which do a brilliant job at bringing really cool stuff over from the US and stuff, but I just wish that some of these high street stores that people can actually go to and see stuff on the shelves would start to take up this fight a little bit more and actually bring some stuff to the UK that is good and not just okay you know what i mean but maybe i'm asking too much and i'm sorry if you are someone who loves all the stuff the range brings out and you look forward to it i look forward to it too because like i say it's pretty much the best we can get here in the uk when it comes to stores you can go and visit but i don't know i just would like something a bit more when you start off looking at the sort of awesome stuff Spirit is bringing to the US and then you see the stuff that the range is bringing out for the UK. I shouldn't compare but I can't help but compare and the comparison is a disappointing one without a doubt. Anyway guys sorry to leave it on that rather flat note there it's just how I kind of feel about the situation. I'm hoping the range bring out a few more things yet there might be a few more cool things some of their groundbreakers in particular are absolutely quite awesome so I'm quite looking forward to that still. And I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.